she is searingly clever. She has almost boundless energy. And I can tell you from personal experience, she's exhausting. She's brave, informed by the values she brings to her work. She's not afraid to manifest those values in the way she acts and what she writes as a judge. Helen cares a great deal about people and about the work of the law in the lives of people. She's taught me above all else about the importance of kindness. There's something that she always said when I was growing up that I'm only just starting to understand. Kindness is what helps you move through the world, what helps you make a difference and that you should treat every person you meet with respect and compassion. And I think that's the most important thing anyone could ever teach a person. This had been a prize for most likely to be appointed Chief Justice 30 odd years ago, then she would have won it. It was obvious from the first day that she was going to be the best student in her year and that she was going to be extraordinarily successful. One of Helen's principal concerns has always been access to justice and she's done a lot in terms of improving access to justice over a large number of years now. She's always thinking about how it can be better for the, for the young women that follow her. Just seeing women in high places doesn't mean that everyone else can ascend to them too. You need those women to be actively working for change and I think that she does that every day. The perception of my mum amongst my peers is profound admiration. She's admired by the people that will one day be the profession that she's shaping. And so it's intimidating and it's difficult sometimes, but I think beyond everything else, it's a massive privilege to have that example to follow every day.